Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation Wrap Up on BYU TV, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. Mark Pope is with our Spencer Linton. Well, Coach, I can't think of any other way to explain what night in and night out of the Big 12 is like other than emotional warfare, but it, you did it again tonight, um, and after a tough loss, what does a win like tonight mean for your team, given what you just went through? It's important. We, you know, we talk about responding all the time, and, and um, you know, you know, Baylor barely won at Oklahoma State. That's just how good this league is. Um, and But our guys came back feeling a little bit... Uh, you know, we had some questions that we needed to answer, and um, I'm super proud of how the guys responded. Really proud of how they responded, because this is a grinder, and and um, the ability to kind of come back fresh and attack the day has been really special with these guys, and they were great the last couple of days. You're very open about the defensive struggles and issues that your team had had over the past few games. How did you feel about the defensive performance overall tonight? And maybe what are some of the differences you saw? Yeah, it was really it was really locked in. Minus the first five minutes, we were, you know, it's, uh, so much of this is. Um, it sounds funny because most of us think about the defensive end as like grit and fight and, 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 and effort. And that is true. But the defensive end is also confidence. It's so much confidence. It's confidence that like I can fully commit to a bottom and trust my first pass guy. It's confidence that I can like take a best route on a ball screen and, and know that I'm actually going to be able to, you know, V back switch and have a bottom there to kind of protect me just for a second. And it's the confidence that you, you can be there on the catch and catch the move to really sell out on being there on catch and catch move. And, and um, our confidence was a little bit shook, and I was really proud of our guys responding well. Coach Fennell did an unbelievable job um, kind of helping prep these guys to approach this game. And, and of all the really great stats, there were so many good stats, the seven turnover game and the, you know, back to 14 made threes and, and this, uh, you, know, uh, you know, on and on. But the stat we're probably most proud of is the 37 points we gave up in the first half and the 34 we gave up in the second half. We're really, really proud of that. Yeah, it's one thing to just get defensive confidence back, but to do it against a Baylor team that is elite with elite shot makers. I mean, what kind of added significance does that take? Yeah, this is um, this is clearly one of the most difficult teams to guard in the league. Um, you know, the second thing I'm most proud of is that we didn't we didn't we didn't lose the game at the line. Um, and I was really proud of our guys for that. At the end of the first half, we had a couple throwaway fouls where we just bailed them out of really tough shots. But we were pretty solid and committed to doing things the way we do them. And we, and we did a nice job keeping it off the line. Uh, and doing that against Baylor is um, there's very few teams in the country that have done it this year. It certainly helps when you make 14 threes and your team's been averaging almost 12 makes a year. You got over the 35 attempted mark as well with 36. What, what allowed that to happen tonight? You know, it's, um, I thought our guys played really free offensively, and um, I was really proud of the way they played. Uh, you know, we started out the game not great. You know, it was 8-0 and, you know, down 0-8 and 13-6 and 13-8, uh, and, and, and then we kind of, we found some emotion in it by one securing the defensive end, and then our guys were not tentative on the offensive end. Um, guys were outrunning. Clearly, it was nice to have Ollie back as a 14, 7, and 7, and 0 guy. I mean, that's a real luxury. And so I think this was the first game back since he was so ill that he felt better. But um, really proud of the guys' thrust and confidence and, uh, and execution offensively. Let's talk a little bit more about Ali and you talk about the spacing that he creates on the floor. For those that might know the nuances of the game, what what does that mean for your team when he is healthy and that spacing is back? It means a lot. I mean, he's a point guard for us, so we, we spend so much of the time running stuff through him. You know, Dallin is carrying such an immense load, and Trey is uh, making a big contribution right now, and Jax has, you know, played some minutes of the one today. But when we do that, either Dallin is tired or the game speaking or Jax or Trey is in there, uh, Ali is so comforting because, because literally we just get the ball down, get it to him at the top of the key, and then we have 100 different actions. We run off it, and fortunately our guys are so committed to cutting hard that it works. Spencer Johnson is going to be an understated guy in this game, but uh, I mean, nine rebounds, and your guys really got after it on the glass. What what did you see that allowed success there? Yeah, I mean, for us to follow up an 18 offensive rebound game with 16 is really impressive. Um, and, you know, Spence, for example, having the back-to-back -back offensive rebounds down here on the baseline in the waning minutes of the game was just incredible effort and energy. Jackson Robinson on the glass, you know, he, he is, you know, that's probably not one of the places where he is a star, but he made some real energy efforts on the glass. Um, and really, it kind of kept us in the game.
game. The first few minutes, we weren't scoring, but we were getting second chance opportunities every time, and so we all felt good. We're like, nah, this is fine. We're actually, our energy is right, and so we knew that the game would come back to us a little bit because of our effort on the offensive glass. How do you navigate the emotions of a game like that? It's obviously intense. There's a flagrant foul. There's a technical foul. There are frustrations from missed calls. Like, how do you, how do you work through that? Um, that's actually my job, um, and I'm getting better at it. Uh, you know, I'm a super emotional person, and, and so um, me being a little more just as flatlined as I can be helps us. And it was a super emotional game. You know, Richie, Richie played an outstanding, outstanding game. Um, and, you know, that, that, that F1 foul was legit, and it's, it's something we need to avoid. And it's, it's just you're so in the emotion of the game, right? But our guys have done an unbelievable job in timeouts about taking a breath, about them talking to each other, about staying focused on kind of one key thing that they're verbalizing. And I think it's helped our whole team kind of stay more even. And you know, that's a lot of training from the squad. They've been incredible for us. How do you stay even keel after a game and the emotions like we're experienced tonight? Um, I, you know what? Uh, one of the ways is just loving the moment. Like, like I hope, I, I mean, come on, this gym was on fire tonight. And, and um, you know, you don't get to do this forever. And we don't get to share this forever. And you don't get this every year. I don't know what it is, 14 or 15 weeks, we were in the top 25. And, and um you know, we don't get to witness a team that is kind of like suffered and sacrificed to be together like this group has. And and we don't get a first year in the Big 12. And so um, I think we're all trying to love the moment. Just love the moment and take it in. And that's pretty special. All right, we'll finish with this. If you had to be nitpicky and, and you can pinpoint one thing that you really want your guys to work on, even after a, a critical win, what would it be? Back to the same thing, trust. Like our trust on defense took a big step tonight. And, and we need to keep going that way. Like we need to keep trusting ourselves. We can do this. We can do it together. And we do it a little different, but we can do it together. And when we have faith in what we're doing, we don't second guess. We're not on our heels on the defensive end. We can be really functional. That was a, a major step forward for us. Coach, congratulations on a great win. Appreciate you. Let's go Cougs.